All right, folks, so I'm going to do a really, really, really quick video. Uh, I wanted to do it because this time of year, it's trying to rain now. But if you look up, this is kind of what happens for probably, some, you know, from now until, like, March. It's going to be like this. So this is what people are aware of. i got to cut in my case. Uh, anyway, this is what people are aware of when they come here and they talk about it just rains here all the time. You get basically the sprinkle drizzle type stuff, which is kind of annoying. Uh, I thought I could actually do a video while the weather was somewhat good, um, but it seems like that's not going to really be the case. It's going to rain on me. But anyhow, it's been a while since we did a video outside um, because it's been raining. Obviously, the weather changes. Uh, we started working on the chicken run after the raccoon situation. Uh, and so I don't know if you guys have actually seen this. I know that we've shared it in a couple of different areas, but I'm not sure if you guys actually seen it. Um, but we built this back in October uh, because once October hits, uh, that's the end of kind of the decent weather. Everything after that is nothing but rain. Uh, so anyhow, this is what the chicken run looks like now. So basically it goes over to the shed here and this is chicken wire which is very flimsy uh, and so we double we double did it so the wire comes up to about here from the ground up and then we overlapped it so we started here and then we went all the way up again so we created it this tall because of the chickens keeping them from actually flying out these are cedar posts. I don't know if, which one you can see. Cedar post. We have three of those put in. And then, of course, down here, if you can see, is this stronger gauge wire. Now, this wire is uh, pretty difficult. So, raccoons cannot get into this, but they can tear through this. And right here, I don't know if you can see, this is a zip tie that we use um, to hold these two together just to give this a little bit more stability and strength. We also have it zip tied over there too. It's nothing but birds flying around, man. But anyhow, uh, right here there was a zip tie. And the raccoons chewed through it to get through here. Now since then, I don't know if you can see that, since then we, I left it like that. I didn't uh, zip tie it back because I'd rather them have easy access in and out, believe it or not, versus them just destroying the top of this, which they could easily do. So now we have a pretty decent chicken run, and the chickens cannot get out of it at all. Um, and as you can see right there, this time of year, because it rains so much, that black plastic is actually house roofing material. You put that down and before you put down the shingles. We've been using it to keep the food dry, which you can see one eating now. Uh, we lay that down and then lay this board uh, to keep the wind from lifting up the plastic. So that keeps the food dry and then we can also feed them from the outside. So if for some reason I can't, uh, if I don't want them out, I can basically just feed them through that fencing because it's an a-frame it'll fall directly into the area so I gotta come up with a better way to feed them but basically I let that flap down uh, when I need to and then it will not the food will not get wet uh, so anyhow that's pretty much it and then this door the paint job is bad but we just used some spray paint that Noe had um, which we used to mark where the trees were gonna go uh, in our planting strip so I spray painted it really quick one night when it was really cold um, just to keep this board from warping obviously it's not a good paint job uh, it needs obviously a whole lot more but it's been wet and rainy uh, we thought it was really cool because it had this natural little cutout <laughs> so we use that as a handle uh, we use some latches here and then we just used a piece of bent uh, garden stake uh, to keep this from opening. Really, this inside is metal. I don't know if you can see the inside of that. It's basically metal. Uh, and the whole point is to keep the chickens from pushing this open. They can't. 
uh, but it's more secure having this here versus not having anything and all they have is just a latch but it opens pretty well and uh, it serves their purposes so it keeps them inside um, and it keeps them from actually getting into things they were getting out all the time worrying we were worrying about the garden now we don't have to worry about that so anyhow that's pretty much what this video is going to be about i don't know if we're going to do any more videos the rest of this week and next week obviously it's holidays you know christmas and stuff um it's cold out here and i got short sleeves on so <laughs> i need to get in but um uh, tomorrow noelle's home and she's going to be home for a long time we have a lot of stuff on the inside of the house we need to get done as far as just cleaning general cleaning i still have a lot of stuff to do i haven't painted the walls yet or anything like that but um, just been very, very busy. There's still more things I want to do outside that I haven't done yet either. But uh, hopefully I can tackle that. I'm going to go in here, cover up their food dish because it's starting to rain a little bit harder. Hope you guys are having a great, what's today, Thursday? Yeah. Hope you guys are having a great Thursday. And until next time, I will see you. Take care.